finagled it. Hey YouTube, it's Todd again, and uh, I wanted to come back, and first of all, let me say that the last video I did with the uh, jet stove um, kind of turned into a disappointment, that uh, I couldn't get it to boil water to save my life. It took too much fuel and too long, so I'm moving on to something else, going to try another idea, and that would be... I've got this monster can with a nice screw on lid that uh, I'm thinking might make a nice homemade Trangia stove. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and that seems to be one of the better ones. So I thought I'd take this can, maybe see what I can do with it, turn it into a Trangia and see how it works. Okay, now I've got the three parts cut. That'd be the top, the bottom, and the inner cylinder. And the inner cylinder will fit right up inside the top. Now I've marked the top with a series of dots right around the edge and I'm going to drill that with one sixteenth inch drill bit alrighty so here it is this is the finished product I've taken and uh, when I assembled it, I put a bead of JB weld around the bottom here. I've also had to put another sleeve down inside because the other one, I think, where I put it together had too many holes in it and it was just allowing the alcohol to burn out the center and wasn't igniting the jets. So I put another sleeve inside to cut down on that and it seems to be working pretty well. Now the only problem I'm having with it is if you light it from the top it takes like four minutes to prime and that's way too long that's burning up too much fuel so one thing I found that if you let it prime for about two minutes and then blow on it it helps ignite the jets um, it'll also prime a lot quicker with a priming pan but I'm not real big on priming pans so I was kind of hoping to get her around that. So let's fire it up and see how well it boils water. Now this is one ounce of heat right in the top. And I did use insulation on this to act as a wick. And that works really good. Soaks the heat up into the outside chamber. Okay, now this has been priming for about two minutes. Now I'm going to show you what I mean about blowing on it to get it to light. See, this is the problem I'm having with the jet's lighting.
but once they get going it burns great. There, they might have got going now. Okay, she's going now. That's a that's a good burn right there. And we'll boil two cups of water. I don't know the temperature on it. It just uh, felt like room temperature to me. And the other test that I did, this boiled in between six and a half to seven minutes, more or less. And that's what the flame looks like lower. So we'll let that run. Come back in a minute. Okay, we are at 5 minutes and 55 seconds. And we got a boil. So that's an even better time than I originally had on my other two tests. So that's great. Okay, we're coming up on 13 minutes of total burn time, and she's just now starting to die down. Uh, the other two tests I ran on this, I was getting 15, roughly 15 minute total burn time. So this is pretty close. So there you have it, the monster can stove. I like it. I think a few things could be tweaked on it. You got any questions or comments? Give me a shout. And maybe you can have some recommendations on this. How to cut down the prime time. So anyway, there it is. Until the next one, go outside and play.